Early I offered to speak to Harris and Folding Ideas several times, but I was denied or ignored at every turn, and judging from this encounter, all I can say is that I think both of them aren't interested in discussion. Anything that is critical of things they love, or critical of themselves, they're just happy to echo chamber it right out, and I suppose it's offensive to try and burst that bubble. Honestly, if I ever get to their level of fame, I hope you guys hold me to a better standard than their fan bases hold them, because this whole thing was embarrassing to read through, as well as really disheartening in terms of... Wow, is this what fame does to people? Though it was still neat to see them acknowledge my videos, and at the very least I gained some fans from the interaction too. Now that- A few moments later. Well, after the release of the Snyder Cut, there followed the inevitable revisionist historical takes that, despite what it looks like, this is not a better version of the Whedon Cut. Seemed pretty hard to even sustain, given that the Snyder Cut just improved on so many levels from the cinematography, including backstory, and plugging up a ton of plot holes with the Whedon cut, but, and one of the more notorious one was by Mahler, putting out a two hour plus kind of taking down to the Snyder cut. Now I've done my own responses to it and I'll continue to respond to it as the Snyder cut has already been here with us for a whole year, but I noticed something in his videos and he's been doing this a couple of times, which is of course blatantly stealing from people. One case is very very definite where he literally just takes from red letter media and added nothing he just stole what they said with snyder but i noticed something else and this is with captain marvel again maybe i'm being too hostile because i've been very rough on your movie sucks and adam but i kind of noticed like hey wait a minute hmm what he's saying is very very close to what adam is saying now it could just be a coincidence but when you listen for yourself, you're like, yeah, that's very, very close to one another. The entire film was presented as this Guardians of the Galaxy type thing, but it wasn't at all. So the choices in this scene felt like they came out of nowhere. If her character was written as some lovable, dopey, dumb goof, then sure this could have worked, but they instead spend the entire movie insisting on how important and serious she is. It did not make any sense. There are several points in the movie where she uses random wires that she got from Radio Shack to be able to hack a payphone so that she can communicate to spaceships not sure how any of that worked but okay there are a few moments later the police for reasons though she also spent her whole night there creating a way to communicate with young Uldor via radio shack wires like i think the movie's trying to say that she broke her highly advanced alien wrist communicator thing, and that she can now fix that by screwing around with a bunch of publicly available 90s Earth technology? Because that's how that works. She gets the call going and tells young Goldor that she has to get to Science Lady before the So again, I could be wrong. Presumably they're friends. And that's kind of curious given that Adam was attacked with the EFAP, but there you go. I guess he doesn't care as long as they're making money together. So they just have no problem promoting one another. He actually plugged Adam in one of his Force Awakens video, even though it was very critical of what Adam said about civil war in the MCU. So there we are. I doubt Adam, even if this is a case of stealing from somebody who cares, I'm sure he's aware of it, doesn't mind. Again, as long as they're promoting each other and making money, he could care less. But I'm just saying in terms of integrity, because Mahler really tries to put out that he transforms the content. The content is always original. It's his beautiful original thoughts. It's like, no, no, I think this is a case where he stole something and doesn't care that he's stealing, and probably the person he stole from doesn't care, but in other cases, he really, really gets bent out of shape if you, quote, steal content. We'll have to wait and see if this is an inconsistency, or he just got lazy and just borrowed from a friend. If I ever get to their level of fame, I hope you guys hold me to a better standard than their fan bases hold them, because this whole thing was embarrassing to read through, as well as really disheartening in terms of... Wow, is this what fame does to people? Though it was still neat to see them acknowledge my videos, and at the very least I gained some fans from the interaction too. Now that